the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. What can't you do? What won't you do? Nothing impossible. For our good night message on this Friday the 14th of October 2022 broadcasting from the Salesian community of the Sacred Heart in Lusaka Zambia by your servant Father Eustace Siame a Salesian of Don Bosco we listen to this encouraging and strengthening message in the series How to Heal from Heartbreak God's Way entitled Seek Your Worth in Christ because you are not a man that changes. somebody asked me to continue with this series to the end of the week instead of just four days because there are so many people facing heartbreaks in their lives and so we will continue until tomorrow and today we are looking at how we can heal from brokenness by seeking our worth in Christ Genesis chapter 29 verse 16 to 18 says Now Laban had two daughters the name of the older was Leah and the name of the younger was Rachel Leah had weak eyes but Rachel had a lovely figure and was beautiful Jacob was in love with Rachel Think about what it would be like to constantly try to gain acceptance from someone else You try as hard as you possibly can to measure up and to be good enough but no matter what you do you just can't meet their expectations this is exactly what it was like for leah because it was normal during that time in which leah lived both she and her sister rachel were married to a man named jacob even though he was committed to both of them jacob loved rachel more and leah was very aware of it god saw that leah was unloved by her husband So he blessed her with many children which in our culture would have elevated her but instead of focusing on the fact that the Lord saw her value and blessed her Leah continued to place all her worth in what her husband thought of her We see this reflected in the way she named her sons Leah conceived and named him Reuben for she said the Lord has seen my affliction Surely my husband will love me more. Genesis chapter 29 verse 32. With each child, Leah hoped Jacob would finally love her. But despite her efforts, he never gave her what she wanted. Sometimes it's easy to allow things like a significant other, children, job, or social status define our worth. But finding our true value in what other people think of us is not possible. We will never feel satisfied. The only way we can find true satisfaction is when we let God's view of us define our worth. We see Leah discover this when she names her final child. She finally begins to see how much the Lord values her, and this time she chooses to praise him for it. And she conceived again and bore a son and named this time I will praise the Lord. Genesis 29:35. If we continue to place our value in the acceptance or love of others, we will never find the joy the Lord wants for us. Only he can truly fill our hearts and bring us to the validation we need. Instead of focusing on things around us that are out of our control, let's choose to focus on God because only he can help us find the sense of worth we need. As you go to bed tonight, Ask God to help you see how much he truly values you. Tell him what you want to surrender. Praise him for the good things he has given you. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you. the father and the son and the holy spirit amen
Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father. What is hard for you to do? It doesn't exist, oh. It can never, ever exist, oh. You do not lie, you do not fail. What is hard for you to do? To do. Nothing hard for you, you.